All right, all right. So this is gonna be another one of those things. I think I'm gonna do this with zero days. Um, when we do zero days, I'm gonna do a scout master log tied into the YouTube video. Um, with how much we're juggling of managing trail and everything off trail, it makes it easier and y'all still get best of both worlds. Um, so the YouTube people get a little bit of extra umph. Um, and then Patreon members, y'all still get 90 plus days of regular scout master log. So I'm going to do it that way for zero days moving on from here. And as you've noticed, it's become a pattern. So today, scout master log day. I don't know why I'm looking around me for the day. Today day, is the August 4th. Day 96, August 4th. Um, so we are in Grand Rapids. And, and so something, I don't know if I've been talking about this on video yet, but something we realized, excuse me, I don't know, a few weeks ago at some point was how our miles were working out. So what we were doing a lot and why our first two months on trail, like we were stepping hard miles, but never felt like we had a break is because of the way we were doing it. So and our average was still small. So let's take, for example, we would do a full week of hiking. Um, every full day on trail, we were doing 30 plus, sometimes 35, 38, whatever it may be. A lot of the time, low 30s. But then we would Nero. We would Nero into town and we would try to do a small mile day, like usually less than 10. Sometimes we would have Nero's at three miles or five miles. And so that was fine. We got town day. And then the next day, we never get as far as we expected out of town. We would do anywhere from 15 to 25. Most of the time it was between the 15 and 20 mark. So take that two days and in those two days, we were doing less than 30 miles. So our average was getting hurt, not by the Nero day per se, but by the Nero and then Nero technically out of town. So when we realized that, um, we started doing some math and we realized that felt like momentum and pushing and it felt more stressful that way than if we just tweaked how we hiked. So instead, as you've also noticed with the pattern for the past two or three weeks, we've done more zeros. And you're like, well, you're just taking more breaks. What are you doing? So no, we're actually still gaining ground, if anything. So yesterday we did 33 or 34 and came into town. Um, that's a full day of hiking, but we came into town. And then today we're taking a zero, not going anywhere. And then tomorrow we're gonna hike a 30 mile day. So instead of those Nero's into town and Nero's out where we weren't even doing 30 miles in two days, we're taking one day off that's zero miles, but then 30s on either side. So that not only saves us time, but also get, lets us feel like we get more rest. Granted, there's a, the only downside of this um, kind of strategy we're using is you're going to spend a little bit more money on, you're going to be spending two nights in town. So that's the only downside and we're over halfway on the trail, but that even is not and a downside. And we also, we've been like doing a lot of town yeah. recently, but we're about to head into a 10 day section of no town. Yep. So I feel like it'll probably balance out with the hotel costs because we're about to start a section that's much more remote than what we've just been doing. Yeah, so there were a lot of reasons that fueled it. So like, as you've been watching, it's like, wow, they're taking a lot of zeros lately. But look at the miles around the zeros. Um, YouTube, I don't know if you guys know this, but down in the description of the, each video, I don't know how many people check this, I put, it's very short blurbs. It's what happened that day, what date this was, like, so today is August 4th, it'll say August 4th in the description, but then it'll say the miles and then the total miles next to that for the trail. So look at the miles around these zero days and you'll see that we're actually gaining ground with them. So <laughs> I don't know, I know why a lot of hikers don't do it this way, but it's been working for us for the past two weeks. So I thought I would put a little disclaimer in there and tell you again what's been going on. So yeah. What do we do for the zero day? Let's go through that, shall we? Woke up, had an interview with Tell Your Trail at 
8 a.m. So we actually sat, there's a nice little inner courtyard right through there. We actually sat out on the courtyard and did a nice morning interview. Came back to the room and we're like super gung ho to go to REI. <laughs> and yeah, you hear Magpie chuckling. And then before we still haven't gone to REI, guys. It's seven o'clock. We still haven't made it. I yeah. don't think we're going to REI. No. So got back to the room at like it was about an hour interview nine. Had a little bit of breakfast. Um, then started laundry. Before we know it, it was like ten or eleven. That time we wanted to eat. Awesome. Um, it's a Japanese restaurant. Bar. Yeah, like right across the way from here. That was super super good. You'll see that footage. And after that. I ate till I was uncomfortably full. Um, I passed out. You think, you think food can't make you pass out? Eat so much and oh, got back to the room and fell asleep for two hours. <laughs> and after that, woke up, started doing internet chores, started doing emails, started doing the social media, started doing all of this stuff, um, started returning messages, all the good stuff that keeps friends, family, customers with 11 skies and all of that in the happy little circle we find ourselves in right now um, while I'm eating pizza. So did that and before we know it, it's filming time and I got to film and talk about the day. Day flew by. We have still not gone to REI. Um, right now we're actually planning out miles. So Magpie's over there with the events of maps looking at some of the old fashioned way. Doing it the old fashioned way. Um, so Big Agnes actually, huge shout out to y'all. Yep. No problem. I emailed them and explained the situation. And even though on their website it says, like, you have to have all the original packaging and you have to have, like, all the receipt and everything, I just emailed them, sent them my, like, shipping notification from where I bought the pad. And they were like, yep, no problem. They gave me a code to, like, write on the pad, take a picture of it, and send it to them. And they're like, all right, here's your discount code. Mail us back the pad from the next town when you get it. And like, no problem. Yeah. So, so we've got to wait until the next town to set, like, get it sent out. So I'm patching the pad one more time, just because I don't want it to leak while we're waiting for the new one to get shipped. But they were awesome. They got back to me right away. It was so much. No, it was so not a hassle. Yeah. Shout out Big Ag. Um, if you tell them you're through hiking, they will help you out. Yeah. Big Ag helped me out on my first through hike. Um, and then I've always used their tent products. We're not I've, sponsored by Big Agnes, but yeah, way. we're not sponsored we by Agnes. Them out for two weeks. I was I was about to say I was about to say Big Ag. If you all any reps or anything, watch my Florida Trail. Only videos leading up to like this video. We don't outwardly get upset, but we you I dance around. You the fa the frustration with the Copper Spur Ultralight Tent. You weren't I, using a ground sheet, though, so yes. that's kind of your own fault. Yes, but I dance around that. But let's go past that. Huge shout-out, Big Agnes. Y'all y'all are good doing good. Um, Their customer so, service is sweet. Y'all still are holding the truth in the heart of a company started. I don't know if you all are by through hikers, but you they were, were built. They started in Colorado, so they've got that vibe going for them. I think they were built out of the love for long-distance hiking, um, so... Yeah, really huge shout out for y'all. And as you can see, every time I turn the camera, there's the Olympics been on. Um, just been pitter pattering with that. We have been crushed McDiddling food. Babe still got guacamole over here. Yeah, I got too close to the freezer, so it's still frozen. Yeah, and a lot of food here. Pretty much cleaning up the room as we go. So, yeah, something that I've done in the Ice Age videos that I haven't done here, but I always say is. No matter how much you trash a room, especially as hikers, clean it up. Um, all this stuff that you just saw, we always consolidate it into one garbage bag, make it easy on the cleaning people that come through. Um, leave a good name for hikers. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I need to say it again, but I do anyway. So, zero day. Kind of just went through. Another disclaimer. I disclaimed it in the last clips of yesterday's video. But I'm going to do it again because I feel like I want it to get across this point. The tracker, I did not stop at Seedman Park. Seedman Park is where the trail we were cutting off last night. So Seedman Park is eight miles west of Grand Rapids, I believe, close to that, somewhere in there. Um, and we had caught a ride with Kenneth. 
huge shout out to him. Huge shout out to y'all at the NCTA, um, MPS headquarters in Lowell. But I was just so gung ho to meet up with him again and like chat and just have fun together that I forgot to turn the tracker off. So you're gonna see a big jump on that tracker coming from Seedman Park all the way into Grand Rapids, Michigan. I think most people that have common sense and that see, compare it to an NCTA map system, sees it that, oh, that's not actually the trail they were going on. They must have forgot to turn it off. But I wanted to put the disclaimer in there because it frustrated me and I didn't want the frustration from y'all coming back to me. It already frustrated me enough. I don't need y'all's frustration as well. Um, so I'll turn the tracker on again tomorrow morning at Seedman Park. And you'll see that it pings right there where our footsteps, little feet, had left off. And we'll continue on. Don't know what else I want to say because I want to eat pizza and I want to eat ice cream. And I need to do a lot of more internet chores. And these days go by too quickly. Um, so I don't know how much y'all like this. If that you... was a really ladylike burp, wasn't it? Yeah, that wasn't even me burping. That was ew. I just, yeah. Yeah, so we'll just end it with her burp. But the videos, yeah. These zero-day videos, I don't know what else to do for y'all. Um, I don't like just going to May or the grocery store and filming. I film some cool restaurants that we go to, but a lot of the time it's like... I would just be filming me doing chores. Y'all don't need to see that. Y'all know what chores are, so... Scott Messalog, day... 96, August 4th. Baby, want to give a wave? Hey, baby. I'm emailing for more warranty stuff. Okay. Companies. Get that warranty, baby. I, well, I'm a customer service rep, so I know how to phrase the email really well so that they give it to me because I am the person who does the warranties on the other end at work. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we go.